If you're interested in aerodynamics, hydraulics, anything about fluid motion, you should try Cradle. Cradle is used to simulate fluid mechanics and heat transfer across many industries. Its solver is powerful and accurate, which helps it get good results even if your technique isn't perfect. It's easy to use, and it comes with great tutorials. This video is part of a series on helping engineering students get started learning simulation with Hexagon. In this video, I will tell you about how Cradle is used in industry, which Cradle package to start with, how to find a good tutorial to spend your first hour with, and how to learn more. Let's go! The Cradle Student Edition comes with a few different products. I'll explain how they're linked. One is called SC Stream, and that is good for modeling with what we call a structured mesh. So something where there are a lot of rectangular solids works very well for structured meshes. Main applications for this include electronics and architecture and civil engineering. I should say that SC Stream also includes libraries of common parts for these applications, such as fans. It's very easy to build a model in SC Stream if that's the kind of application that you're working in. SC Flow is probably the best product to start with for most people. It supports unstructured meshes, and so if you're dealing with parts with a lot of curvature, SC Flow is a very good fit. SC Flow is used across many different industries. Either way, you can import parts from any common 3D CAD modeling software, and you can export and visualize your results using something called SC Post. Let me show you one cool application for SC Stream, and then we're going to be focusing on SC Flow for the rest of this video. One of our customers makes multifunction printers. A limiting factor in the performance of those printers is how hot they get. Being able to manage the temperature in the printer is therefore critical for them. They needed to consider 10,000 parts, some of them moving parts, some of them as small as a millimeter. To be able to handle that, they used SC Stream, and that worked out very well. Now I'm going to show some applications of SC Flow. Here we see a few different positive displacement machines, so pumps with moving parts. SC Flow is very strong with something called multi-physics simulation. That means combining CFD with other types of physics. In this case, we're combining cradle with the dynamics of a mechanism that is deploying a flap on an airplane. And so we can get feedback between the fluid forces acting on the flap and the performance of the mechanism deploying the flap. Here's another example of multi-physics simulation with Cradle. Cradle is here combined with Nastrin to be able to model both stress and temperature in disc brakes. Next, I'll show you how to open Cradle and start your first tutorial with it. When you install Cradle, you want to use the installer. You also want to install examples for whichever package you're learning. So we're going to be doing an example tutorial in SC Flow, so I'll make sure to download that also and install it. After downloading the example files and installing Cradle, you'll also need to extract the example files. So you would click the zip file and click Compressed Folder Tools, click Extract All, and so on. I've already done this. I also suggest moving these files to a good place on your computer, like the Cradle folder in your Documents folder. Now I'm going to show you how to start Cradle. I'm going to go to the Start menu and click Start Cradle Cradle CFD. A launcher called the Kicker opens up. This lets us choose between SC Flow, SC Stream, and for the commercial release, a couple of other packages. I'm going to do SC Flow. My first tip in using the kicker is, by default, it's always on top, so if I select this other window, the kicker remains there. You can change that behavior by clicking on the gear, configuration, show kicker always on top. Cradle comes with a rich set of documentation that you can access from this user's guide button. The exercises show how to use many different Cradle features. It's actually best to start with the operation manual that has some beginner tutorials. And that's what I'll use as the example in this video. I'll click Operation Now. I'm going to click Tutorial and Duct Flow. This is the example we'll be working through. I'm not going to show you every step of this tutorial. I'm just going to make a couple of tips and show us some exciting results and steps along the way. My first Cradle tip is to change the mouse settings. I'm going to click Option, Operation. By default, the buttons for moving, rotating, and zooming work a little bit different from what I'm used to. If we change this to type C, the behavior will match the behavior of MSC Apex, which is a program that I'm very used to. 
feel free to change it to whatever settings make the most sense to you. I'm going to click OK. SC Flow is not a CAD package, but it has the tools that you need to turn a CAD model into a CFD model. For example, we do need to know where the fluid is in these pipes, but we don't need to know where are these lobes or even what is the outer diameter of the pipes. I have already enclosed the fluid in these pipes, and you can see that here. So I can actually remove the pipes. This is just the fluid part. Now I'm going to modify this. And now I can make the pipes be a little bit longer. We do this to let the flow become fully developed before entering the zone of interest in our model. In another Cradle program, SC Monitor, we can run the job and see its progress. As the simulation goes through multiple cycles, the fluctuations in our different variables should go down. Right now we see that temperature is having pretty high fluctuations, but with each cycle we are getting better and better accuracy or convergence technically for these values. I'm now going to show you how easy it is to visualize your results in Cradle. I'm going to open my results file. Now, by default, Cradle's mouse options aren't what I prefer, but they're easy to change. I will click Option, and I can click Apex Mouse Mode. I can rotate my view with the middle mouse button and resize with the scroll wheel. Let's visualize the pressure. I'll double click on Surface and click Contour. If I click Display, that shows pressure by default. I right click in the viewport to update. Now, this is putting paint on the top side of the pipe, so I can't see inside it. I'm going to click on front and then back and then right click in the viewport. That cuts the top half off of the pipe. Next, let's visualize the velocity. I'll right click on my results file, click add an object and volume. I'll click vector and display. That shows velocity by default. I right click in the viewport and we can zoom in and see a lot of very fine velocity vectors. We can animate them which lets us really see what the flow field looks like. And we can make it easier to see the arrows. There's, I think, too many of them by changing their thickness. My last tip is that we can make it so these color bars don't overlap by clicking on this grab hand and right clicking and dragging on the color bar. And so now I've moved one of the color bars off of the other. I think Cradle is a really fun tool for learning fluid mechanics. Thanks for checking out Cradle with me. You can learn more by going back to the operation manual and going through the other tutorials. Then you can go to the exercise manual and pick out examples that are relevant to your interests. If you're a student or a professor, you can download Cradle and lots of other Hexagon simulation software at the link below totally for free. Feel free to send me a message on LinkedIn or ask me whatever questions you have. All right, have a great day. Bye.